thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I suppose you're here because you want to learn how to sound edit inside, outside, far, near. And I'm glad you're here because that's what we're gonna do. All right, so let's jump right into it. Let's look at our clips. Car's far away, it's getting closer. Cut to the inside. What do we do? First thing you're gonna wanna do is cut on the cut. Go up here, parametric equalizer. I'm actually gonna put those on both because they're both gonna need it. All right, so the first concept is that, um, what was the first concept? High frequencies have a hard time traveling long distances and even a harder time passing through things like couches and walls and windows and the interior of the car basically. We'll get to that in a little bit, but first, it's about right here, mm, I'm gonna cut it. Because this bar is gonna have lower frequencies than this one, lower high frequencies, I should say. We're gonna click on our parametric equalizer, go to the high frequencies, Bring that down, okay? Let's see what that sounds like. I can barely hear it just for the sake of this video. I'm gonna really crank it down so you can really hear the difference. And you hear those high frequencies start to open up now, right? So on this one, as it does get closer, I'm going to raise the higher frequency, and maybe just this part of the higher frequency too to really sound even closer. I'm also, as this is far away, just gonna hit G and bring down the gain by just maybe three, right? I'm gonna put a transition right here. I'm gonna make a transition from far away. As it, as it transitions in, it should get louder the higher frequencies will start coming up. So it sounds like this now. It's starting to sound good. I think it's coming in a little too early. I'm gonna move it like over here a little bit more. And now it sounds like it's actually getting louder. Now you can also do this if you want. Hit P, get your pen tool. And then make it just quiet to a little bit louder, hit control, click on that, easy ease in to a louder volume. Now it's really sounding like it's getting closer. Also, another thing you can do to make things sound like they're further away is add the studio reverb. Grab that, put it down here, and on this you're gonna add Great Hall. You don't have to, it's just a good starting point of where I like to start and manipulate the dryness and the wetness levels. So the dry, a dry sound would be if you spoke into a mic, a full soundproof room and there's nothing but just your voice really crispy, clear and full right by the mic. Hey, hey, hey. But the wetness is you add this wispy airiness to it and it sounds like you're in a large space. It's not quite echoey, it's different from an echo, but there still is sound reflections and you're gonna get that. Here, let's just listen to it. With the studio reverb. It's kind of hard to tell because it is kind of quiet. Also, keep in mind that's gonna happen. Once you add the studio reverb and you bring down the high frequencies, it is gonna bring down the volume of your audio. So you might wanna punch that up just a touch. But I kind of like that it's low because it makes it even feel like it is further away. So we're gonna add just maybe two bucks. That's starting to sound real good. Now, what are we gonna do about this cut to the indoors? Easy. The first thing I like to do, right, we added our parametric equalizer. And keep in mind, like I said before, the high frequencies are not gonna be able to pass through the windows and the chairs or anything else in that car. So they're gonna be cut off even more than just a further distance. It's gonna be pretty much almost just the bass. At least a vast majority will just be the bass that you hear. So I'm gonna go into beefy snare. I think this is a good starting point for indoor things. At least that's where I like to start. That's where I've learned to begin. I'm just showing you guys the basics so then you can tweak these, start from here, and then design yourself according to your own ear, according to your own situation, and stuff like that. So anyway, I brought down the high frequencies, the bass is boosted, and it's gonna sound like this. And that's, that's amazing. Let's, let's listen to the sequence from the top now. 
I love it. Let's get some more bass. A little bit more bass, a little bit less frequency. That's getting pretty good. That's it. Those are the basics to make something sound really far away as it gets closer and cutting to the inside. You just take these principles and then bring them around with you to different situations, different filming scenarios, etc, etc. And that's all there is to it. I hope you guys learned something from this. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.